close oh, voice. Line. Okay. <laughs> how is that how you yeah, pronounce it? But I think the S is silent. Don't quote me. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm holding you to it on that. But I think I think our our followers, our listeners, can just like type it into Drizzly or whatever that app delivery is, since I've given them the spelling, so we don't even need to tell yeah. them how it's pronounced. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, oh, it's like a secret wine. Like you're trying to say something to a little kid, but they don't know how to spell yet, and they don't know how to pronounce that wine. Yeah, obviously. Like wine. When you say it, close, like, close just, the boys. Close the boys. Sorry, he's got, he's close the boys. Close the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that one was like i wasn't ready you know i took a sip <laughs> i couldn't stop i honestly drank that whole bottle in one night well hey watch out luckily you're <laughs> quarantined and not let out loose in new york city i know for real it's dangerous claude dubois that's claude probably, dubois yeah. oh that's, that's what claude, riley's saying claude dubois that does sound that mm. sounds nice that sounds that's probably more yeah more uh, i should probably know these things from being a w set uh on my three in csw Okay, well, so you've been incorporating wine into your life. Have you been every day? Obviously, I've been drinking wine. I can't keep my wine stock um, stocked here. I feel like every day I go to the grocery store to stock up for the next two weeks. But are I you keep risking doing that. your health to go to the liquor store? Well, I wear a mask. I wear a mask when I go out there. My okay. good friend made a customized Dodgers mask for me, so I had to um, wear that. Obviously, and uh, I keep going to. Um, the grocery store to stock up for a week, but I do that every day now, and uh, the wine seems to be depleting, so it's unfortunate. Gotta get um, ahead of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of wine, what's like, think back, like, wine's been a part of our life, obviously, culture, being a part of my wine society. What's like a really fun memory that you have that had to do with wine, whether you went somewhere, you did something, something was crazy, you chugged a whole bladder from a box wine at Brown, <laughs> something that you did. What, what would you say is uh, a wine yeah. experience? Well, I mean, tip of the top experience would definitely be when we were in Italy. And mm. Prosecco is one of my all You're making this sound like a romantic world. trip now. Let's be in Italy drinking Prosecco. <laughs> Actually, it was a business trip. We yeah. went as the yeah. bosses we were. We had a full team. So. We had a full team yes. together. <laughs> yeah, our whole team. And we got paired with the coolest wine company ever, Santa Margarita, yes. and helped them yeah. launch to sell it to the American market. But the coolest part of that, and what I think, like, a lot of people don't know about wine, especially, like, in my age group, is how wine is made and how Prosecco is made. So it was really cool to walk through the vineyards and Treviso and to go through the factories and <laughs> the fermentation so of the fun. grapes <laughs> and how they make it sparkling. So it was cool to see that up front and then also try the wines while we were at the vineyard. So especially the, the place that, you know, put out the toast for us and stuff to have alongside the wines, the aperitivo. So... That was really fun. That was a that really was a cool experience. experience. Being a consultant yeah. there, we got first class. I just want to give a shout out that we got Regan Machado joined our uh, live here. So give a shout out to Regan. That's pretty big time. And my best friend Rachel just joined. Look at that. Hey, thanks, you guys. I'm going to have Haley Hoffman Smith around more often. That's pretty you good. Should. I bring uh, the fame. <laughs> for my buddy Joe, we are going to talk Chilean wines right now. Uh, I've got a little Australia action, which I'll mention, but we'll do it. We'll do some Chilean, South American. I had a full bottle of Malbec last night, so. Um, it's good. And and Riley, no, I unfortunately I'm not wearing any pants. I was trying to do this ESPN style, so I don't think I can get up. This is <laughs> this is a waste up <laughs> the only uh, show that we have here. Um, okay, so that was a really great experience. Just real quick, so everyone recap that we um, got a chance to be consultants for Santa Margarita Winery uh, in Treviso, right outside of Venice, uh, through Italian Innovation. That's where we got a chance to meet each other. Uh, really cool experience there. And man, they really taught us to, took us to the nines on doing fun things. Um, two brands that we represented was the Torricella um, and a Prosecco and a P uh, Pinot Grigio, I believe we had, right? It was three uh, years ago. Maybe. I think I it was just there was a lot Prosecco. Of drinking. But like you think of Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio, so. Yeah, there you go. That was really fun, uh, really cool experience. Well, what wine are you drinking right now for us on the show? Right now, I'm drinking a wine called Intrinsic. It has a cool label. It is a red blend with 51% Malbec and 49% Cabernet. That's a very specific from... uh, mixture there, though, yet. <laughs> I think people wanted to know that part. And it's a 2017, <laughs> and it's from Columbia Valley, which is in Washington. Um, there you go. Yeah, I don't know how often I've drinking wines from Washington, so this is a first. However, I really enjoy it because it's Blueberry Ford, 
Oh, blueberry. Tastes like okay, blueberry that's, jam that's in one form. Nice. And it's really good. I don't know the right words to use to describe it, but I would say it's a nice blend of light and full body. Okay, there you go. I yeah. see my sister joined too. Aren't you supposed to be a doctor at work or something? You shouldn't be on Instagram. What is going on right now? Um, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Why don't you go get wine? Come on, you got some wine. This is the wine show. Well, let me, so what today I wanted to talk about um, a little fun wine label that we have here. It's called uh, Sideshow, South uh, Eastern Australia. It goes way, this is a really old vintage, um, all the way back to 2019. You guys should probably pick up. It feels like that was like 20 years ago since I haven't left my house <laughs> in over the month. Yeah, 2019 was amazing. Actually, 2018 was probably the best year of my life, believe it or not. That was a lot of fun, but um, this wine is called The Charmer. That's why I wore my rose shirt, so that way I could represent the, the Charmer. And it's uh, Shiraz. So Shiraz is a type of grape. They call it in Australia Shiraz. Um, call it Syrah everywhere else in the world, but Australians got to be Australians. But it's a spicy Shiraz that everyone uh, loves, according to labels. Um, it really smells like grapes. It's really good. It smells like grapes. It's weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, mean, that's I picked up on of, that joke. I might not know yes. much about wine, but I got that one. <laughs> nah, it's a real black. Uh, any Shiraz, it's like a black plum, blackberry, black licorice, uh, strawberry, jammy type of taste. So I think it's it's really good. It's a little spicy, too. Oh. Shiraz got a little spice action. So I like well, it. That but to good. match my red shirt, this is what I got. See, really, I wore my, my lumber leg shorts. So that way you wow. could see. I put red on even to match. So that way it was part of the decor yeah, okay, um, yeah. that we have to Looks okay <laughs> that's awesome we gotta get some music going that's what she's saying we need some background noise i agree with that um, we should have thought that through all right well here you got to hit me with some knowledge here as i'm studying for my csw and my w sets what what is it that you wanted to know or what can i help knowledge bomb drop as you quiz me here to see if i know what i'm talking about when it comes to wine so at least like, the show can be a little bit more credible Oh, sure. Yes. Thank you for being my wine professor. Well, I was wondering, <laughs> people always say when they're walking through their esteemed wine cellars, they're like, mm -hmm. this one is a 1934 or something. And it seems like wow, very bougie. Very yeah, bougie, just like yeah. the way I said it. However, okay. it seems that you, even though you're a wine connoisseur, don't mind drinking uh -oh. wine from like last year, 2019. Yeah. But so I guess my, my question is, demystify it for me. Is it true that wine from a long time ago is better for some reason than wine that was more recently made <laughs> or bought? So I think my, so great question. I think my problem is I can't just hold on to any wine. I think I, I, it burns a hole in my uh, kitchen cupboards if the wine bottles are too long in my wine cellar. So they have to be drank right away. So right. <laughs> that's probably my only <laughs> issue is like I to myself can't hold any bottles of wine. That's why they go so fast. But to answer your question, does wine need to be aged? That is the age old, oh, if something, you know, gets better with age, I would hope, I don't know, I got my quarantine beat here, uh, that I'm getting better with age myself now being 35, uh, you know, wiser in my years, hopefully. But you say the old adage of like, you're getting better like a fine wine. Um, that's not necessarily true. And I'm gonna say it's a, it's a true and false question here. Most wine, believe it or not, I'd say probably 85, 90% of wine um, <laughs> is actually uh, meant to be drank. <laughs> Don't choke on us. Do you need CPR? <laughs> oh Don't my drink God. On. Don't drink on wine. I don't know what happened there. Go on. Okay. She's got the Corona. <laughs> She's coughing. I don't. I God, promise. So <laughs> well, most wine's meant to be drank right away. And I think that a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to get this case and put it in my cellar. But then you have all this wine that you, wine was made to be enjoyed, enjoyed with family. I, whenever I drink wine, I feel like I'm drinking life. And it's like it was made from the earth to it was made once it um, comes off and harvested and then it's made for, into a liquid form. It's fermented through science and, and uh, different chemicals that go into it in place that it transforms into this thing that we then ingest um, and uh, exhilarates our body. And so it was meant to be loved and enjoyed and shared throughout. So you get wine, drink it. But to answer your question, a lot of white wines um, are meant to be somewhat younger. That, that's just what they are. You want to drink whites. When it comes to aging wine, if you will, um, it has to do with the tannins in red wine. 
and the tannins have come from the skin in grapes. And so a lot of times you'll age wine in the oak barrels or any barrels. And the reason for the oak barrels to age it in is that it really gets um, the flavoring comes from the wood that is in there. Um, so that way, the longer it soaks, the longer it gets in, the longer fermentation can take place as well, too. But once it's bottled, why you want to keep it in a bottle is that oh, oh, you can have the exact same bottle. Say I have this bottle from 2019 and I had the exact same wine from 2009, 10 years ago, but the exact same quote unquote scientific delivery methodology um, that you'd have in producing that flavor of wine. 10 years apart, those wines are actually going to taste differently. And it's just because the tannins in, in the bottle itself um, go through chemical processes while it's aging, if you will, and it creates an older style of taste in that wine, and it's going to transform that taste. So a lot of younger wines are red, specifically are going to have that like juicy jam kind of flavor, fruity flavor that we were talking about. But as it ages, those start to go away and you start getting more of the what we call tertiary flavors uh, that are more like uh, forced floor mushroom type of okay. flavors that come out from well, the oak is going to be a secondary flavor, actually. Oh, so you have primary, secondary, and tertiary. So oak is going to come from the aging process on that secondary. But to your point, yes, there's going to be more flavors that come out from it. So that's why you want to age wine so that way the tans can evolve in the bottle. And it goes through the chemical maturation process so that way uh, it ages longer and it does have a different taste. So, mm -hmm. yes, some wine that's really old could be great. And some wine that's really old could taste like vinegar and it could be bad. So... Uh, through the uh, SAT tasting process, which is a um, standardized tasting approach that you go through through, through the WSET, um, it actually, when you drink and consume the wine, you talk about quality. And you talk about, is the wine too young? Is it good, ready to drink now? Is it good, but yet it needs to be aged? Or is it something that is past aging? And so as you go through that process, you really learn on what needs to be aged um, longer or, or not. But again, to my point is wine should, was meant to be drank. And it's ready to drink. Now, there are some wines, like uh, especially throughout, um, I'll call it this, you're going to quiz me here. I think it's in the Spanish region and Portugal a lot of times. Um, I'm not talking about fortified. I'm talking about just regular wines that um, they are, have to be in uh, age at least 10 years before they're even released out into the world. So they did that because it has to have a certain quality as well, too. Um, so then again, there, with the aging process, there is a little bit more of a chemical maturation that goes through. And that's why people say, it's there. But again, yes and no. Doesn't necessarily that means that they have to be, but yes, some wine, red wines with tannins, that's like a super tanniny, like a Barbarella or Nebbiola, you want to age. So that way it has that chemical process um, take place and mm. it tastes better. But my 2019 probably hasn't been aged that long and it tastes amazing. So does that answer your question? So ultimately it's basically like the individual's choice though too. So if you receive a bottle of wine yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm just going to keep it longer. It's more of like, I would oh, say do it's... I prefer, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> if it's a white wine, I would say drink it. I would say don't necessarily age it because it has to, it's also goes with how it's stored. If you're storing it in light mm -hmm. or in warm temperature, like if I were to store it in the garage, that wine's going to go bad. So we didn't get to drink it. If it's stored properly in a dark, cool uh, climate in your in a closet or in a cellar, that's why wine is stored underground, um, then it's going to age better. Again, if it's a red wine and it has a super high tannin to it, that's the wine that you would like for it to be aged longer. So those are kind of the, the trade-offs. Rachel just um, asked, what level are what you level? on? I am, I am a certified WSET 2. I am studying for my 3 right now. Ultimate goal is to get diploma by next year. And then um, I'm not going to go the SOM route because I'm not in the service industry. So I am going to go uh, master of wine route. So a little bit different credentials. Uh, I would say it's comparable to being uh, an MD versus a doctor. So, um, you know, on the degree set from that. But uh, yeah, that's master of wine. That's what, but it, it has, it's a long process to get that. It's not like you can just get it overnight. But um, I've gotten to my three pretty quick. And uh, I was already supposed to have taken it, but due to quarantine, um, we had to push the test date back. Um, now I'm just taking online classes, but it was supposed to be uh, a week long intensive course doing bud break up in Napa, actually, which would have been a really cool experience. Wow. Sounds fun. But didn't get a chance to do it. Yeah. And then I'm also taking my CSW, which is a certified specialist of wine um, that's done through the Society of Wine Educators. So that's another 
cool thing. Again, just all credentials, a way of learn. Hey, you're sitting at home. It's something to uh, be knowledgeable about and educate yourself on. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Doesn't Cornell have a class for wine tasting for their undergrad? They did. Yeah. They did so we, we Cornell still does in the hotel school. Uh, that's where I first took my first wine course, and it is actually the most failed class out of all of Cornell <laughs> University. What? Um, most people think they can take it and oh yeah, I'm gonna take wines, drink wine all day. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it's a very challenging class um, that we have and there's a lot of tasting in every class and you have to be able to uh, signify certain varietals and also know um, to our terrain and there's just a lot that goes into it. So uh, it is a fun class. And that was the first uh, yeah, of course that I took way back when I was 21, Aww. you had to be 21. To and I had just, just turned 21. Yeah, wow. I would love to get back to Ithaca. Um, hey, so have you heard about Blended Fest, Haley? Yes, from you. <laughs> from you? No, <laughs> this was a plug. You're supposed to say, yeah, I can't wait. I've been hearing all about it. Oh, yep. I've marked my calendar. I've picked out my outfit, and <laughs> I can't wait. There you go. Well, hey, Blended Fest we have coming up. Um, Rachel, yes, a great resources for studying. I'm going to say go through the W set. Uh, there's a lot of schools around. It's a Wine Spirit Education Trust. I am part of the Napa Valley Wine Academy is the classes that I take mine through. Um, but you can sign up for that and got some great resources. I actually have an extra set of books. So if you want to DM me, oh. I can actually send those to you. Now that was you the offer of a lifetime. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I got two sets. They screwed up. So I have two sets of the W set books. But Rachel, I'll okay. send them with you. <laughs> there you go. So let's talk about Blended Fest. We have Blended Fest coming up. Um, it is a huge music festival. I bet everyone can't uh, wait to get out of their house um, and ready to go party and go adventure and do fun things with other human beings that are out there. Uh, wow. So Blended Fest, we have scheduled. We had to push one back, but we're still keeping our San Diego one on the mark. Uh, my good friend, Jesse Rodriguez, who's on, he actually already booked his hotel ready to come out is 29th at waterfront park in san diego so rachel, make sure you mark your calendar look at that rachel, rachel's she, birthday best thing that ever happened she joined this this uh live on instagram and she's ready to rock so blended fest we have a great uh artist lineup we just got sponsored uh by a huge company um i guess i can say it. it's signed inked and delivered we have max magazine is going oh. to be a huge title sponsor that took about oh six months gosh. to work through um, so it's going to be awesome. Um, we have quite a few other sponsors ready to go on the alcohol side of the portion and it's going to be a fun event. So I know everyone's ready to go. We are staying holding true, depending on what the laws are once we get a quarantine, but with blended fest, um, I would like to give away two VIP tickets to someone on the call here. So we should do oh, like great. a wine quiz question. Should we do? I have a good one wine trivia okay Sean, why don't you come up with one Sean, question how about I you comment i got a great question but i want to see how we can go okay first person to answer this question okay it's a true or false we'll make it easy and we have it recorded so true or false is wine made from white or red grapes first person to answer on here i first, thought it was supposed to be a true or false well it's is it made from red or white is it it's a yes or no <laughs> First person to answer, is rosé wine made from red or white grapes? Somebody can type a comment here. Yeah, you did cut out Okay, I cut out mid-question. Shoot. Okay, question is, is rosé wine made from red or white? Oh, Rachel got no, white. Okay. Skins of red. Ah, uh, no. Not the right answer yet. I just saw both answers so someone got it right it's a red there you go red yes so right red. rose wine is actually made from red grapes that um, go through fermentation process with the skins on then that fermentation is cut short and they release the wine out and that's what makes it that pink color because it is from red grapes not white um and it is released and then that's why a lot of rosés have a less alcohol content uh, yes, Rachel, you yes, did get you it. Did, so girl. we are giving you two VIP tickets for your birthday to Blended Fest on August 29th in San Diego, California. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic event. So thank you for answering that. 
Um, I got another great trivia question, but I guess we'll hold off till next episode. But I think we're, I think we're good. We got some wine knowledge. I wasn't planning on drinking because I still wanted to work out. I know my big brother, uh, Kevin, is on and he's going to grill me because he's been holding me accountable every day for working out. And now I'm about half a bottle of, deep of wine and I haven't uh, <laughs> done my workout yet. So I'm going to need to get out of it. It's going to be a fun one. But uh, got some great wine knowledge. We'll play everyone. Got a chance to drink a little bit today and, and is exploring their wine. We're going to have quite a few episodes coming out. Just making it fun, lighthearted, something to do instead of watching TV. And uh, we need one more story from Haley. Haley, any fun stories maybe that, uh, I don't know, if you'd like to share that has to do with wine? Come on, give me something from Brown, something you guys did. Do you ever play Slap the Bag? No. Oh, I have a more sophisticated story than that, John. Okay. I was in Cabo for my 22nd birthday, and I did a wine tasting there where I tried orange wine. Orange wine. Orange wine. Okay. Isn't that cool? Enlight Enlighten us. Yeah, that's, that's your not great all story. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but Tell us I... about college and your recent features in wine. Okay. Um, I really liked college. It was fun. <laughs> I, met, <laughs> okay. I met Rachel there. Okay. I you did. studied. Oh, she's another Brownonian. Yes, ever true. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Yeah, that, well, yeah that's the story. story. I had orange wine. <laughs> I already talked about how I, you know, went through the fields of Treviso, Italy. This one time at band camp, um, <laughs> I had orange. Well, wine. I actually have. I do have one story. There was one time <laughs> <laughs> that John and me and our group were driving back to Treviso from. I yeah. guess where were we? I was somewhere we could drive. to. Oh, we were in Parma. We were in Parma. I don't think so. We, I actually don't think that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, were, no. we were at the, yeah, we were at the, um, the macaroni factory. No, I know. But that's, that's a different, we went, to, okay, that wasn't the same trip. Uh, there was a time, our group, so it was like Cami, okay. David, Pradeep, we yeah, all I thought drove. we were at Parma. Verona. It Parma, though. It wasn't. We were in Verona. It was also not Verona. <laughs> it was a day trip we took to go do a wine tasting at a vineyard. So it was like okay. more of our market research. I, yes, I market say this, research. we did learn stuff though. Market but research. <laughs> we, yeah. had to, we had to do some <clears throat> vineyard tastings, you know, it was part of the job. And we're yes. on the way back and we see these big hay bales on the side of the road. Yeah. I do remember <laughs> and John <that>. says, <laughs> here we go, this is gonna be good. And John <laughs> says, guys, have you ever wanted to push hay bales? <laughs> so we pulled over. Oh, I wanted to do that so bad. No, it everyone's was, like, no. It was one of the I'm greatest like, experiences of my life. Never wanted to go just like push a hay bale, like just roll it down the thing. I, I've always wanted and to do that. And actually, yeah, I had. So we ran out of the car and we pushed the hay bales and it was so much fun. I was wearing sandals and I remember I got all this hay like in my foot, but not in my foot, but it was, I don't know why, <laughs> part of the story. But despite the pain of running through the hay, it was really fun. And it was, it was fun. It was and they're a lot easier to push than I thought. Once you get it rolling, it just goes pretty good. One thing I would say, so two bucket list things I did on that, that same day, I think it was the same day when we were in, we were in Venice that I uh, got to push hay bale. And two, I wanted to go on a gondola so bad and no one else wanted to do it. And you guys were all going to leave me. And I'm like, fine, I'm going to go by myself on a romantic <laughs> gondola ride. And then you all felt bad for me like a lost puppy. So then everyone comes over and then we end up going on a gondola ride with like six of us. And tell me it was like the coolest thing you've ever done. Like, no, it, it was, was awesome. it was pretty epic. Getting in yeah. was a little bit precarious because my laptop was about to fall out of my bag. And it also yeah, didn't smell very good at the canal. <laughs> it adds to but the all adventure. All, it was pretty cool. That was fun. That was a fun trip. I think it was in Venice. I think it was the same day, no? It was not. I'll still get the pictures. Gosh, I'm all, well, we were there a long time. So I don't know. We had a lot of things, a lot of things to do. Well, that was yeah. fun. That was a good trip. And look, we've stayed friends ever since. So True. it worked out. Oh, well, cool. Cool. Well, anything else you'd like to say? Joining my wine society, how everyone needs to go download our app right now. So that yes. way when we're out of quarantine, they'll have a way to drive and know how to locate wineries to go wine tasting. Also have a uh, social media platform so they can text Haley Hoffman Smith directly. If need to, to find out her wine connoisseurs. Haley is, uh, is going to be one of our wine influencers. Uh, moving forward, she will be on our app. So not only she's on like USA Today, Forbes, 
Entrepreneur Magazine, My Wine Society blog, The Bazo Show, you know, all top end, like, you know, <laughs> they're top all in the show programs that we have. Yes. I mean, this is, they're all up there on like things Haley to succeed at and to do. So obviously uh, we're there. Um, how can I download it? Go to your app store right now, type in My Wine Society, and the app will pop up and download it, create a profile. Um, it'll be an opportunity as well that you can invite us to be friends, uh, social platforms, share with us what you are drinking um, while you're here in quarantine. Um, if you have any cool outfits that you go wine tasting in, any cool wines that you like to drink as well too, um, go ahead and show those on the app itself. We have a second generation coming out. You'll have to have the app to even get into the festival. Oh, Mira, I miss you too, big dog. You better be drinking some wine right now. He just joined us on here. Um, so hence note, even though that uh, Rachel got two VIP tickets, she will not be able to get in unless she has the app downloaded because just like all other major festivals that should be happening this weekend in the um, Southern California desert area, not to name any names, uh, large festivals that should be going on, you have to have the app downloaded so that way you can scan to get in. So you have to have the app so you can get into our festival. That is your ticket in. Um, okay. Well, Riley, there's still no wine in there, so white clotted truly. I don't, I don't really understand that, but okay. Um, okay, I haven't just downloaded it. Oh, you got it. So thank you. I appreciate that. So again, download our app. Um, coming to Blended Fest, August 29th. Download the My Wine Society app. Also check out our website. So since we're in quarantine, we had to move to more of a media play. Go to our website, www.mywinesociety.com. And it'll be an opportunity for you to see uh, different blogs, different wine influencers, different tastings, also pairings. Say you're struggling, you've eaten the same uh, top ramen every night, maybe some frijoles mixed in there and you don't know what to eat. Go on, see some wine pairings, go to a store, go to Rouse with your mask on, staying six feet apart from everybody, buy some wine and also try out some new recipes. And you can all get this from our app. Yo, D Sands, what up, man? So if you can um, download our app, my Wine Society, check out Blended Fest and also go to our website, uh, mywinesociety.com. So Haley, I cannot thank you enough. I appreciate you joining our, uh, tuning in and joining our show today yeah. and becoming an official My Wine Society wine influencer. So thank you. It's you a big honor. You're, Thanks for having uh, me. We are, we are honored to have so you. Nice. So this is <laughs> next step. So everyone today, raise a glass and uh, cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Sean. Salute, the Bosley Show. Checking out. See you guys. <laughs>